Hello and welcome to Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This is a show dedicated to helping you become a better organist. We're your hosts, Vidas Pinkavichus and Usha Motuzaita Pinkavichina. We have over 25 years of experience of playing the organ. And we've been teaching thousands of organists online from 89 countries since 2011. So now let's jump in and get started with the podcast for today. We hope you'll enjoy it. Hi guys, this is Vidas. And Osha. Let's start episode 621 of Secrets of Organ Playing podcast. This question was sent by William. And he writes, Vidas, thank you for putting together this course. My sight reading of notes and rhythms both improved significantly from nine months ago. It also improved my sight reading of dense passages of music. The areas that gave me a little trouble that I need to continue working on are the counting of 32nd notes and irregular rhythm, rhythms, triplets against two eight notes, or a four sixteenth note against dotted eight note and a 16 note regards bill so william uh, talks about uh, my organ set reading master course which is quite popular among total organist community and um, i'm very happy that people are enjoying uh, the progress that they're making over the course of the of this uh, training program it it takes basically 40 weeks 47 weeks with bonus materials so that's <laughs> almost a year a full a full year right osha yes it takes a while um for a long time, for many weeks, uh, people start with sight reading one single melodic line. And uh, a lot of people quit after even uh, noticing improvement, even before starting two part exercises. Um, you know, because it takes such a long time to go through entire art of fugue, voice by voice. Osha, do you have such patience? Well, I would have patience if I would have enough time. And um, you mean that you couldn't practice for many weeks one single voice? Yes, definitely not. And I don't need it because I have quite a good skills of sight reading music. Hmm, let me think. Maybe I should devise a special course for you, just for you, where I could test your sight reading skills and and give you more challenges you know i have enough challenges in my life on a daily basis and you could devise a course for me as well would you like that mm, not really why not you could be my teacher well i teach you know for 25 hours a week so i <laughs> guess i have enough teaching already without teaching you uh, could I sit in your classes then? No, because now it's pandemic. Maybe under the table then? Well, <laughs> you could sneak in, or at least to try to sneak in. I could sit under the table like your pet. I, I, I would be quiet, promise. But then I would have to put you on on a leash. Uh, yeah, on a leash or a, or a choke collar? Well, it would depend on your behavior. <laughs> if I... It would be polite. Maybe a leash would be enough. Yes, I guess so. So, William is enjoying um, the course. Sight reading every week, uh, seven days a week, I think, those exercises, exercises run. Mm, would you, uh, Osha, imagine yourself um, sight reading every day of the week, if you have time? Well, yes, because I think this is a crucial skill to have for any musician. Yeah, I think for people who don't have enough time to sight read, they are simply sacrificing their goals and dreams, putting putting aside their future. 
in favor of the present tasks or uh, maybe um, you know urgent assignments but i think it's important to work towards your future uh, make the future possible right because at the end of the day you have fulfilled maybe your tasks but you haven't advanced towards your goals true and often people wonder why we cannot learn music very fast or as fast as we would wish to and why we still keep struggling and I think the one of the reasons is that we don't sight read enough or don't listen to music enough as well that also is very important basically music is a, like language we have to immerse yourself in this language it's a musical language and uh, we have to imagine we're learning like a foreign language obviously uh, learning foreign language is easiest from from the early age right osha that's right i think any skill is easier you know to learn at an early age but i think it's possible to learn later too but it takes you no know, more time and requires more effort will you be fluent in that language if you start late in, li in life well, I guess it's sort of, you know, very, very individual to, to a person, from person to person. Uh, let's start, a per let's say a person starts later in life and spends hours every day sight reading and practicing and listening to musical uh, pieces. Um, at first, it's a very difficult struggle, right? Because this new language is completely foreign to them. Mm, and it takes weeks, even months, before they start to feel any kind of an enjoyment, right? And uh, even when people are listening to, um, to such, uh, such um, training exercises, they're not interesting at all to listen, like one voice, right? That's right. Especially if played in a slow tempo. I can imagine if played in, in a right tempo, uh, if you can play the Art of Fugue soprano voice, for example, at the concert tempo, that's a wonderful, wonderful piece of music by itself. It's like a one single instrument, a solo instrument, a flute or a violin playing. But you have to be fluent. That's right. Otherwise, it's just for you, not for other people to enjoy. Mm. But but definitely, there will come uh, a time in in your course where you will feel that something is tipping. You will f feel this tipping point where yesterday you didn't notice improvement. And this morning you started to notice something differently, something uh, more frequently, more, more fluently. There was for me also, it's in any activity. When I was uh, busy doing um, uh, exercises of um, pull-ups in, in our garden uh, last year, for example, uh, at first I couldn't do a lot of them, just a few, or maybe just to hang myself, hang and uh, <laughs> not hang <laughs> myself. <laughs> but <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> but <laughs> simply I would just, uh, you know, hold hold on the onto the rings and and hang hang in there, you know, for thirty seconds, let's say. But then after weeks passed, I could do one, then two, then four um, pull ups. And then I, after I reached five pull-ups, I suddenly noticed I could do all those five pull-ups fast. You know, not like one by one, but in a combination of two or, or even three. One, two, three, four, five, in one breath, basically. Uh, so obviously this faster uh, pull-up um, routine makes it easier to do all five of them, right? 
but I couldn't do that before. It it took me, I don't know, maybe four months to reach that goal. So obviously, uh, people who who practice sight reading from my course need to realize that they have to really uh, keep going for a longer time in order to start feeling the results. Like William has, he started about nine, mon nine months ago, right? But he didn't quit after a few weeks. Even it was even if it, it was hard when he, thirty second notes appeared or triplets against two eight notes. Those complicated rhythms, you see. Wonderful. I guess William has you know the kind of character that each of us you know need to develop. You know to be patient and you know to be consistent about what you are doing. Wonderful. So, guys, um, those of you who are practicing from this course or sight reading on your own, please don't quit just after a few days or weeks. Just keep going. And uh, those of you who haven't um, seen my course, check it out. I will leave the link in the description of this conversation. Thank you, guys. Please send us more of your questions. We love helping you grow. And remember, when you practice, miracles happen. This podcast is supported by Total Organist, the most comprehensive organ training program online. It has hundreds of courses, coaching, and practice materials for every area of organ playing. Thousands of instructional videos and PDFs. You will not find more value anywhere else online. Total Organist helps you to master any piece perfect your technique, develop your sight reading skills, and improvise or compose your own music and much, much more. Sign up and begin your training today at organduo.lt and click on Total Organist. And of course, you will get the first month free too. You can cancel anytime. If you like our organ music, you can also support us on Patreon and get free CDs. Find out more at patreon.com slash secrets of organ playing.